rebel princess. I'm on my way to the castle to report to your brother and to try to find out what I can about his troop movements while I'm there. Ben's in the back room, arguing with Paige. Not an entirely unexpected situation. Ben seems to have a way with a fairer sex. A strange, troubled way. Tell you. I'm telling you, I downed three hollow men with one shot. It's true. I've never trusted a soldier in my life. I'm not going to start now. Well, will you tell her, Walter? Hey, I'm not getting involved. Look, look, there she is. Ask her yourself. Oh, give it a rest. Fine. I'll just stand here quietly then, shall I? You know, for a princess, you're a pretty decent person. People out there are starting to believe in you. I knew you two would get along in the end. Thank you for taking an interest in my social life, but we have even bigger problems now. Reva. He's been bleeding the city dry for years now, but it's never been this bad. We decided it was time to hit back. A small group of fighters managed to get into his mansion, but they never made it out. I believe they're alive. You're going to help me find them. Reva hosts some sort of fancy secret society party every week. We don't know what goes on. But we do know what the guests look like. It's the perfect chance to sneak in. Here. You'll have to wear this. Great! Where's my costume? What, I still can't come. What, even after the three hollow men story? Honestly, this is as bad as the army. Now everyone out. I have a party to dress for. I'll stay and make sure no one spies on you. Everyone out. You know, I'm starting to have serious doubts about our relationship. God. I knew I should have gone up to the castle with Swifty. I just love how soldiers can come in and out of our secret hideout now. Whatever you do, please don't let Mr. Finn follow you. I've had enough of him for one day. I'll see you at Reaver's Manor. You should probably get going. You don't want to miss the party. Yeah, didn't you hear the new law? Everyone should have fun except me. I said before that we soldiers told these stories so as not to miss home. But in truth, I have never felt the sense of that word in any place I have visited, and certainly not in gunk. Yet, there it was, I was raised by my shopkeeping parents, who through no fault of their own, often struggled to keep other things such as shoes on our feet and food on our table. This being the case, my three elder brothers and I had no recourse but to find other sources of sustenance, money and entertainment. Despite my small hands, I was never the equal of my siblings in what constituted the main form of income for all Finns under the age of 15, the picking of pockets. It is possible that even then, though barely eight years old, I had begun to form some sort of moral objection to such activities. Instead, I found my calling as a street performer, standing in the town square telling jokes and falling over repeatedly. Did you hear about the man who went through a Balverine forest and messed up his trousers? I would ask the audience. No, they would reply. He said with fiends like that, who needs enemas? <laughs> all right, so it wasn't sophisticated. I was only a child after all, but at least it was honest. Or it would have been had my brothers not taken the opportunity, afforded to them by the villagers' uncouth laughter, to rob them blind. All this accidental aiding and abetting won me the greatest gift I had ever received. For my 11th birthday, my criminal siblings bought me a beautiful pellet gun. And thus it was I found my second talent, a rather surprising accuracy with firearms. It was not long before this ability was put to good use. 
My brothers set up a fair booth in which they challenged all comers to pit their target practice skills against young Ben. Having fleeced all the local clods, we soon had to rely on traders, passers-by, and occasional tours of neighbouring villages, out of which we would more often than not be run out by the authorities. Hello. Ah, the full masquerade costume. Any lady wearing this would be both glamorous and anonymous. A man in it would probably be a bit cramped. There's a lady behind that mask. That's the only thing of which I can be certain. Any other business to attend to? The armory is at your disposal. Swords are fast weapons which require skill and finesse to wield. situation call for a different weapon.
Ah, hello. Me. You can't just wander into people's houses willy-nilly, you know. Off you go! child's antics? I didn't know I had it in me. I'm sorry, but you really shouldn't be here, you know. You ought to leave. Say it again. I hate you. I feel like celebrating today. Today's the day you die. Sometimes I just want someone to talk to. And sometimes I want someone to kick in the crotch. I can tell you can handle a gun. Can you handle me? Get out of the line of fire, you fool! Welcome to... 